It is Dreamhack Day. It's Saturday at 10 a.m. and this will be my first Dreamhack. I was very excited but also nervous because I didn't want to get lost. Okay, so I didn't get lost and now I'm waiting in line. And a uh, fun fact, Rod Laver is an actual person? I don't know anything about sports ball. 11 a.m. and the doors have opened. I was walking around, getting to know the place. I did get lost for a bit, trying to find the Rainbow Road. And yes, there was indeed a Rainbow Road connecting the two buildings. Next to the Rainbow Road was a LARP area, which I had no idea was at Dreamhack. So that was really awesome to see. You can see the little soldier guy. He's not really little, but you know, he's <laughs> looking cool over there. I did know about the Crazy Corner, which I had to check out immediately, and they nailed it. It was such a lovely area to chill at. There was Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, a small cafe in the corner. There was a 3DS street pass hangout, and like, there were a couple people just like chilling on the beanbag, just playing together. It was awesome. The whole building was awesome, actually. Next door to the Crazy Corner was this stream studio and panel stage. I think there were about 500 creators at DreamHack, which is insane. They supported so many creators and artists there. Oh yes, the speedruns! I love my speedruns! This is also the free play area, which means the rest of this video is my Untitled Goose Game speedrun. I'm kidding. One of the best parts about Dreamhack, the Artist Alley. There were like nearly a hundred of them. It was packed, as it should be, because there's so much pretty artwork from prints to 3D printed pots for plants. It was fun to see the variety, one of my favorite parts of the convention. Ah yes, the Expo Hall. I've decided to just stay quiet and experience the expo hall for ourselves. But shout out to that Bloodborne cosplayer, I somehow didn't notice them when I was recording. You know, watching this makes me feel short. I, mean, I am short, but man. Hey, Hollow Live performed. I saw photos and the console was packed. Hope everyone had fun. Speaking of packed, back to the Rainbow Road at 12 p.m. and there were way more people. <laughs> a big crowd watching a Skyrim speedrun and another crowd waiting for how to be a VTuber panel. But I don't need that because I'm a wonderful, amazing VTuber. Right? Right? Shout out to my Twitch. 
Anyway, back to the crazy corner because I had been walking around for over an hour and I needed to chill. Okay, time to get up because it's panel time. Big props to Snugboy for hosting this editing panel all by himself. They kept the energy all throughout the panel. It was informative, funny, inspiring. I'm self-taught and I use Premiere Pro, which is the same as Snugpoy, and what they said was similar to what I've experienced. So, find something that inspired you to make a video and look up the tutorials on YouTube. That's me. Yes, food. Remember to eat and drink when at a convention. Bring a water bottle from home and if you can, fruit as well, because convention food is small and expensive. Also, shout out to the coffin song in the background, I love it. 3pm and it was cosplay time. The stage was packed, the cosplays were impressive, and there was a nice view of the expo hall. There was a Tears of the Kingdom horse god cosplay. Like, out of all the characters you choose, you choose the horse god. That is so creative. <laughs> like, look at their outfit, it's so complicated. They are so talented. I took a little bit of a break from the cosplay to check out 360 Chrism playing Super Mario 64 Ability Randomizer. It was actually really cool to see Chrism live. Like actually live right there. <laughs> so thank you for coming down to Melbourne. Back to the cosplays and I thought there would be a first, second and third prize but no, there were like 10 winners. Of course they all deserve to win so that is amazing. The top winner was a Kave cosplayer from Genshin Impact. Like congrats to them but that's not canon. Kave doesn't win anything. <laughs> Like, he loses everything. This is in canon. <laughs> but actually, like, congrats to them, all of them. They look amazing. Back on the Rainbow Road and I came across a... Uh, I was gonna say dragon, but I don't really know what they are. A majestic creature that came across from Lab Land. Found out a bit late, but next to Lop Land is an archery area. It was a team battle, and it was just cool to just sit down, relax, and watch them fumble the arrows and bows. <laughs> it looked like a lot of fun. <laughs> Going back to the speed run now. They just finished the randomizer at an hour and six minutes. GG to Chrism. I wish I filmed the screen yeah, a bit better, the but go this is my oh, first time yeah. filming at a convention and Die. also making a video like this. I wanted to try it out and here's the result. Also, so I hope you've been enjoying it so far. One last crazy break and one last look at the artist alley. And thank you DreamHack2024. 6pm and it's time to go home. It was an awesome day. I'm so glad I decided to go. I love the convention atmosphere there. It's so awesome to be surrounded by people who have the same interests as me. Like, we all love video games. It's such a good feeling. Oh, and here's what I got. I promise you that Leon stuff is not for me. I promise you. The Violet Evergarden print is for me and I love it so much. The Magic Cup fabric pin stood out to me, I had to get it. And the Dream Pack official pin. Oh, and the Tears of the Kingdom desk mat. That's for me as well. That marks the end of my Dream Hack day, and I just want to say I really love video games.